Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to uh, deploy a simple Java method, plain Java method, as AWS Lambda, um, just using Java, also for provisioning or and deployment, Java and Maven. So um, what I prepared is the simple function called greetings, and there are no dependencies on AWS, it's just plain Java method. On, uh, on event and uh, to make it a little bit more interesting so I am um, expecting a map as parameter and it just outputs the contents of the map as a string so and um, there is also a test and this is the black box system test and the uh, what the system test does it calls the lambda function uh, remotely so it's not like a local mock environment rather than it calls goes to AWS cloud and calls the Lambda remotely. So um, I'm expecting a profile, what means profile AWS credentials, uh, the profile name AirHacks uh, Live with uh, setup um, the um, access keys. And, um, and then what happens then, fully qualified name of the Lambda function or the name of the function and it just submits the payload which is user Duke and uh, just um, outputs the response. So this is the Lambda project. Now the question is, um, what are the dependencies in the project? And they are not a lot. So what happens here, I'm using Maven Shade plugin to uh, package the Lambda uh, into, a, into a package called function. And what I'm also relying on is the AWS SDK, but this is only for tests. So as you can see, I'm uh, using AWS SDK uh, with the test scope and um, I'm actually in, I actually don't need any uh, compile time dependencies to, to Lambda but usually you would need them so I kept them here and I also don't need uh, any Lambda events so I just also kept this dependency here uh, what are they they are uh, S3 events SNS events ready to use events if you would like to uh, bind this Lambda to, uh, to, to a AWS event source and the project has to be 11 java 11 because i'm using java 11 coretta okay so this is the easy part a little bit more complicated is the cdk part so this is another maven module and this module is based on the cdk cloud development kit for java so i'm going to use java to ship the function so what happens here is um so this is um, we have an app and what the app does, it creates a view tags, which is always a good idea because the uh, resources are easier to find in the cloud. It also uses my uh, CDK default uh, account and a default region and then ships the app with a stack. So um, this is AWS official way to deploying apps and behind the scenes cloud formation is working for us. But the, the nice story is we are able to code in Java. So what I did here, I'm shipping a function with Java 11 uh, from the prepackaged um, archive called function jar. The handler name is uh, airhacks lambda greetings, uh, greetings, uh, double colon on event. And this is important. So it has to match uh, the function name. So if we switch to the um, to the greetings, you see this on event. So this is the, the handler and um, they have to be in sync. Otherwise you get an error. Um, and uh, I also specify uh, the memory size. This is just 128 and the timeout, uh, which is 10 seconds. So this is basically it. And uh, now uh, let's see what happens if I deploy this. Now, uh, good news, uh, you don't have to remember everything So I just created and uh, repo uh, 29 minutes ago, actually. It's called AWS Lambda CDK Plane, and it contains exactly the code with a little bit more description. So I use it all the time, so I thought it might be a good idea to create a template from it. Okay, now this is my empty cloud, so nothing here yet. So if I just uh, reload it, it is uh, empty. So now let's try to deploy the function. So um, let's do this, and um, how to deploy that? Fairly easy. There's a build and deploy script included, but it just does. It creates, um, it invokes Maven Clean package of the function. So it creates the function zip first and then switches to the CDK module and then it performs a Maven build and then calls CDK deploy, which will uh, initiate the deployment. 
So let's see what happens. So what I would like to do is just to run it and just do this. Build and deploy. And now the function is built and uh, then the CDK uh, starts to build. And there is a simple unit test which just tests whether there is any CloudFormation template available. So it's just a basic test. You could extend that. So this is the part of the CDK. Um, so the test here, oh, it asked me whether I'm okay with it. So just go ahead. And uh, the uh, test is CDK app test. And what it has does, it just checks whether there are any resources in the template, in the CloudFormation template. And they should be. So this takes now a little bit because um, the, uh, the Lambda um, environment has to be provisioned. So there's this, we are already outside of Java and now it is deployed to the AWS environment. So maybe we could already see something already. No, nothing. So we have to wait until, until all these steps are completed. So what you could do here is um, what happens behind the scenes. The, so what the CDK does, it uh, it creates uh, like a JSON structure in memory. So the cloud formation template, which is a JSON or YAML uh, structure, and um, and then it passes the structure to uh, to a CDK. And what uh, the cloud formation templates are available here. So there is the uh, template JSON is the actual cloud formation template in the cloud. So two steps are left and then the function should be available. So now it should look good. Let's see. So our function is here. It is. Uh, and we're using Java 11 Coretto and the code size are 900 kilobytes and 10 seconds ago it was invoked. And this is our function. So let's see how our integration tests are working. So let's try this out. So I'm going to um, here and just call it and let's see what happens. So now the uh, integration test is started, hopefully. And uh, let's see. Maven face safe integration test. Let's call it from the command line. And uh, what we should see is an output user duke. So it worked. Um, now let's switch to the um, to 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 the environment. I would like to test that. So um, I get a pre pre uh, predefined uh, message which I would like to execute. So let's go with it. And uh, what I see here succeeded. And I see this is the return value, which is great. And then go to the logs. And what we can see that the Lambda function here was executed. And we see here, this is the first execution. It was the user duke, user duke, and then receive key value. And uh, the execution was actually fairly quick. So um, thank you for watching. Enjoy the template. Enjoy uh, Pojos in the clouds. And uh, see you at upcoming AirHacks Live events. In fact, we will program or develop together such things from scratch. So thank you and bye.